everybody, it's Nicole Noah Sad here today for Vicky Booten's Design Team, and I'm going to show you how you can mix a pre made background with lots of stamps to create a super fun kissed uh, stamped embellishments. So, I'm starting off here with some archival black ink and some really pretty Vicky Booten stamps, as you can see. I love these florals, and I really wanted to use a lot of these on my page as embellishments. So, I'm just stamping a whole bunch here on some foundations paper. I have the 6x8 foundations paper pad, and I've just ripped out a few of the sheets, and that's what I'm using just to stamp these frames as well as these floral, and then I'll do a few little leafy images as well. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to colorize these. So I'm going to use the kissing technique and the watercolor markers um, by Vicky to actually color all of those different images. So I'm going to start with the leaves at first. And I have three different colors here. I have the mint julep, the juicy pear, and I believe the blueberry pie is the name of the colors. And I'm just starting with the little bit and a smaller size acetate sheet. And I'm just dipping my acetate sheet into that color very small amount for this because I'm doing the smaller image and I'm just lightly tapping that on top of the stamped area. I'm overlapping the color over top onto the background of the cardstock because I'm going to cut these out later and I just feel like if I tried to stamp, do it too much inside the design um, it would hit, inhibit me a little bit. So I'm just going in really carefully and just dabbing that off um, and I did not use blueberry pie. I'm just thinking about it now. I actually used blue Hawaiian. And that's what it was the third color was. So I have like a light green, kind of a mid green, and then this darker one is a blue Hawaiian. And that's just adding a bit of a nice teal to my leaf design. So I'm going to set those aside to dry. And now I'm going to do all my florals. So for this one, I'm going to use the crushed pineapple. I believe I use the Coral macaroon and the sugared strawberry, I believe. So those are the three colors I have there. I'm going to start with the yellow using the same technique. Um, I do add a little bit of water to the watercolor marker ink just to kind of give it a little bit more fluidity. And um, it is pretty bright, so I wanted just to water that out a little bit. So I'm going to start with the lightest color, which was yellow, work into that sugared strawberry. Then I'll end up with the coral macaroon. And again, I'm doing the same thing by just tapping in that color along the stamped images, kind of overlapping as I go. I really don't want it to be perfect. I want that kind of uh, artsy kind of feel. So I'm just lightly tapping in, overlapping the color slightly as I go. Um, I am working with the same kind of color families because I'm doing kind of a wet on wet technique here they will you know meld a little bit together as I go I was not drying in between um, so that will definitely change the color of um, if you unless you wanted to let each color dry in between so I've mixed together the blueberry pie this time a uh, very small amount with the mint julep and just creating a bit of a navy kind of color with that um, just a very small amount of that blueberry pie because it is so saturated mixed in with the mint makes a really nice navy color and then I'm going to add in a little bit um, of the purple. The purple color that I used is called Plum Pudding. And that's from the watercolor marker set as well. And so I'm just kind of layering that to get a kind of a two-toned bluish purpley kind of pattern. I'm not going to wait long for that to dry. I really want a model kind of color on those labels. So I'm going to dab them off. And now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut all of that stuff out. I'm just lightly tapping with my paper towel to make sure I have no kind of wet areas left. I'm going to go ahead and just do a light little trim of all of these images out of the foundations paper. So I have all those done now by the magic of video. And I'm going to start with a pre-made background. I really love this pretty one. I love the yellow, the green, and that pink background. And I thought it would be perfect for my summary photo that I have here. So I'm just going to turn it around a few times to find the right direction that I want to use. And then my thought is that I'm just going to really fill in the rest of my page here with these labels and the florals and the leaves. So I'm going to take one of the stamps here that says Happy Day from the uh, same stamp set I used from the flowers. And I'm just going to add a few multiple stamps of that same word onto each of the labels just to give it a little bit of texture and design. And then I'm just going to add foam adhesive to the back of honestly pretty much everything without the exception of the leaves. So I'm going to, I have a bit of a roll of uh, foam adhesive here. I'm just going to add a little bit to the back of each of these pieces. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing with all the flowers. So I'm going to start with my larger ones and then work my way down to the small. And so once I have kind of all the foam adhesive um, on the back, then is when I will kind of build my design, starting with the larger pieces and kind of working my way down to the smaller ones. So I'm going to go ahead 
just finish off with the last of my foam adhesive on these pieces here. And then you'll see I'll add a little bit more foam later on. So I'm going to start with some of the larger flowers, just trimming off some of these extra little pieces so that are even. And then I'm going to add another piece of foam to the backing of one side of the flower, just so it kind of pops up a little bit more than my photo. And I will overlap that, adding another little flower underneath my photo a little bit. And I'm just kind of building my pattern from here. So I'm going to start with the larger ones um, and then work my way to the smaller. I am going to do a bit of a cluster in that top corner, um, but I'll worry more about that a little bit later on. And I'm filling in my areas with those labels. So I'm kind of creating a bit of a pattern from top to bottom along that left edge of my photo, working kind of with the larger flowers here, this, the large and the medium, and then adding in labels kind of to crisscross and overlap between the two. So there's kind of a bit of a connection of all the elements on my page. So you can see I'm adding in a few of the smaller flowers now. And the foam adhesive I'm using is a bit forgiving. Um, if, you know, as long as you kind of lift it off fairly quickly, um, you can move it. So you'll see I will move things around a little bit as I kind of work through putting everything down on my page. I wanted to use all the labels up. Um, I kind of like the repeated look. So I'm just tucking some in around my photos. And then I'm going to cut the foam adhesive a little bit smaller and fill in any gaps with those leaves. So I'm just going to kind of place and tuck these in around the leaves and the flowers just to fill everything in. So there's one kind of fluid motion of the pattern all the way up that side of the page. And the it'll give a nice variation of the color too, because right now everything is pretty pink and yellow. So adding in that green will just really fill in um, some pops of that along the floral design. You could do the same thing without flowers. You could definitely use the new stamp set from Let's Wander with the stars in it. Um, that would be really cool too, to do, create the same, same kind of technique. Um, so I think I have pretty much everything I'm going to do here with the flowers. I decided not to do that top right floral cluster. Um, so I'm going to trim off all my edges now and just add a few little black drops of ink I have from my stash. I'm going to add just a few around here and light little drops and a little tiny misting. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish off my, with my title. All right, so I'm going to make a big boo-boo right away and you're going to see I'm going to cover that up. So you're going to see I'm going to stick that letter down right there. And then I realize my flower is covering it up too much. So there you go. Nice big black blob in the middle of my page, but that's okay. Everything is kind of fixable. So I'm actually going to move a few of my um, elements around thought about adding in a flower, moving a flower, um, didn't really work. So I ended up moving my, one of my labels over and covered up most of it. And I was happy kind of with that, how that looked. You can't really tell in the end where that is unless you know that it's there. So now I'm going to use these really fun chipboard letters from Let's Wander. And the, what the, the best part about these letters are is they each have a bit of a different pattern on the chipboard. Um, I am sticking them some foam adhesive um, to the back of them just for some extra sticky tackiness um, but I'm going to add these down on my page and then you can actually colorize these with many different uh, mediums so I'm going to use the watercolor markers again just because I already have those kind of out and ready to go um, but that's the best part about these letters is not only does it have its own little pattern on each of the letters but you can color them and create any sort of color you want on your project so I think they're super cool and I'm running low on them so I really need to buy myself another pack so I wanted to bring in a little bit more of the green because I do have a lot of the pink and yellow going on. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that mint julep to my um, acrylic sheet here with a tiny bit of water. And I'm just going to really lightly run my brush over top of the letters, dabbing along the way. I don't want these to be really dark green. I really want that light, soft mint color that's in the background there on the pattern paper already. So I'm just really trying to be careful not to kind of really saturate too much with the green and I'm dabbing that off. I am going to add just a tiny bit darker of that pretty, pretty uh, blue Hawaiian color. And I'm going to add some water droplets to the background just to bring a little more green into the back. And then I'll use this yellow here for the word sun. And then that's pretty much my title. I'm going to dab it off so it's not super, super bright. It would look pretty strange to have that being super bright when the background is right there. So here's how it all kind of looks together. I really love that pre-made background that really made this project so fast and easy for me. Um, you can see I have those stamped flowers and the stamp labels and the whole thing came together relatively quickly. Uh, really fun and easy. I hope you'll give something like this a try.